Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. And if you're new, what's up? My name is VNA Strick. Thank you so much for being here. As you can see by the title, today's gonna be my July favorites. Truly, it's like my June and July favorites. I accidentally missed last month. I don't know if you guys noticed. So I do have a lot of products that I've been loving. Uh, but the good thing is that I've been loving them for such a long time that um, I can really give you guys like a really good review about it. So I hope that you guys enjoy this video. And if you do enjoy this video, please make sure to give a big thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to my channel to join my squad. Let's get into it. Alrighty guys, so let's get into it. I have, um, mainly makeup just two things that are like more like skincare so why don't we go ahead and start out with that so the first thing i want to talk about is this guy right here i know it seems like i barely used it but a little goes such a long way so this is the corks advanced snail 96 musin power essence i know that this brand the snail musin corks brand has been going viral on tiktok and i have to say so far worth the hype let me explain to you guys what it is and then i'll tell you how much i've liked it so it's like a multivitamin for your skin corks advanced snail mucin contains 96 percent snail mucin to nourish repair and plump with moisture so here are some of the benefits so it's supposed to improve overall skin radiance it long-lasting hydration it plumps the skin minimize the look of fine lines gives you a glow for all skin types hyaluronic i mean really truly what else could you want in a product i have been loving this i put two pumps on my skin every night and every morning and that's what i'm saying it might not look like i've used a lot but the actual pump is very small because it's so gooey that you really don't need that much product like well here i can kind of show you guys so that's one pump see how one pump is not much but it's very like gooey and so just that one pump is already like way too much for the back of my hand, you know? So I've been doing skin cycling. I don't wanna get too much into it till maybe a month from now when I'm like, I've been doing it for a while, but pretty much you like exfoliate one night, then you use your retinol, tretinoin, and then you let your skin breathe and recover. And during those recovery days, I use this. I actually use this every night, no matter what, but this is just so good for when you need extra hydration, when you need glow, when you're using maybe chemicals or exfoliants or anything like that and you need um, something to help like the hydration to recover. It's really nice during the day too because it adds really beautiful glow. It is good under makeup. Like it's just like an overall really, really good product that I think has a fair price and you get a lot of product in just one. The next thing that is on my radar is actually the Advanced Snail 92 All-in-One Cream. I've heard a lot of people talk about this cream right here. Let me know if you've tried it. It's $26 and all of these products have at least four and a half stars. So love this, get on this train. Okay, the next product I wanna talk about, I really wanna explain myself. I've been using Grande Lash MD for years and i love it and i swear by it and i always um like tell you guys about it because that's the lash serum that i use the ordinary came out with their own eyelash serum but it's only 15 dollars. grande lash is 65. now i still think 65 dollars is fine because it does last me about three to five months depending on how long i use it and that's still a lot cheaper than like latisse but this is 15 dollars, so i decided just to buy it and the way that i wanted to test it out because i obviously already use grande lash is i stopped using grande lash and only use this and i said to myself depending how my lashes do we will kind of see how this works if my lashes don't keep growing because i stopped grande lash then this won't work for me but if they keep staying long then this probably works for me because your lashes go through a cycle where they shed so you, that's why you have to keep using it you can't just grow out your lashes and they'll be long forever so long story short i haven't used grande lash since this came out maybe like a month and a half and not only have my lashes stayed long but I genuinely feel like they've gotten longer than they did with Grande Lash. You guys let me know, be the judge of that, but I feel like my lashes are looking even better than they were before and I haven't used Grande Lash and all I've been using is this. I have been using it every single night and it works. So that's my experience with it. Obviously I haven't tried it from the beginning with really short lashes, but just know that if you are using Grande Lash, 
just go ahead and buy this. It's $15. Test it out, and if it works for you, um, this is gonna be way cheaper. Okay, so moving right along, let's talk about my go-to foundation. This is awesome. I'm sorry I'm not wearing it right now, but I do have so many videos talking about this. I also just have like a full-on review of LYS. I can put it right here if you're interested, but this is the GOAT. Look how dirty it is. I love this. So this is the LYS Triple Fix Serum Foundation with Hyaluronic Acid, Turmeric, and Ashwagandha. I have the shade TG5, and it goes pretty well with uh, how I look right now, if you guys are wondering. And I love this. Um, again, it's a serum foundation, so it's really liquidy and it's hydrating, but it's not like super dewy and greasy. It does set down nicely. I do set it with a powder just for longevity, but this looks so beautiful as soon as you apply it and it wears so beautiful. And also it wears for a really long time, at least on my skin. I only would use one pump of this. This is what it looks like. It is a frosted glass bottle. I just use one pump and I spread it with my fingers so I can really make that spread everywhere without like a sponge kind of soaking up product. And then I just tap it out with a brush and one pump does my whole face. It lasts all day, it looks beautiful, it's not drying, it doesn't settle, it's it's really truly like my go-to. By the way, if you're new here, I do have normal to dry skin, but this is it and LYS, is more affordable than any other brand at Sephora. Like it's very inexpensive for a high-end uh, price. And speaking of LYS, I have to show you guys three more products that I think are amazing. Um, my second favorite product is this. This is the LYS um, No Limits Bronzer Stick and it's in the shade Harmony. Um, I'm sorry if this is redundant because I have been talking about these products in my other videos, but I had to put it in my favorites. This is the most beautiful, most emollient, pigmented, blendable cream bronzer ever. I've been using it for about two and a half months now, and this is how much I've used. But remember, I've been using it every single day. See how barely any is gone and all you have to do is like push it up. This is like, you just need the smallest amount and it's so pigmented that it almost looks intimidating, but it blends out like a dream. It has more of a dewy consistency, but if you just set it with a powder, I think you'll be fine if you have like oily skin. So beautiful and so, so good and again, a really good price, especially at Sephora. So I've been loving this. Another thing that I've been loving from LYS is actually the Triple Fix Translucent Powder. This is really, really nice. If you have dry skin, um, this is one of those powders that will really like set without making you dry, but it'll, see, it'll like blur the pores, take away the shine, but it's not drying whatsoever. It's awesome. I really, really think it compares a lot to the Kosas Cloud Set. I love both of these and I think I love them because they're so similar, but the Kosas one is more expensive. So if you've been wanting the Kosas powder, but it's just a little bit out of your price range, um, again, LYS is just a little bit more affordable. And to me, they give a very similar result. Like these to me, it doesn't matter which one I have. As long as I have one of these, I'm good. Um, really good for everyday powders or blotting powders to keep with you because they're so lightweight and they're beautiful. And the last thing I'm gonna talk about LYS is actually their brown. Bronzer. This is the shade Courage. It's not my favorite shade. I wish it was a little bit warmer, but they do have other shades. But the formula is so, so nice. This reminds me of like a matte radiant powder. See how a little bit of light reflects off my finger? It's like a satin, a beautiful satin. This is what it is, but it's like really, really pigmented, but very, very blendable. And again, a really good price and a nice little shade range. So if you're looking for a new bronzer, kind of like a mid-range, not drugstore, not super high-end, with a beautiful satin finish, you're gonna love this. Now, I do have to talk about two more bronzers. Um, this is the mid-range bronzer that I've been loving. If you're looking for a very affordable, with a really, really good shade range, matte bronzer, um, definitely try this one out. So this is the L'Oreal Infallible 24-hour bronzer. They have a lot of shades, especially for the drugstore, and this one is in the shade Tan 400. So this is LYS, this is 
um, L'Oreal. See how the LYS does reflect a little bit of light? If you don't like that, try this one. This is completely matte and it is beautiful and it is very pigmented. So a little bit does go a long way. And again, really good shade range, really good price. And like always, it does come with a really good mirror. And I believe it came with a sponge, but I don't know where it is, but this is really nice. Lastly, last bronzer. <laughs> Sorry guys. Um, if you're just looking for uh, a treat for yourself, um, you guys have heard me talk about this. This is the Dior. Backstage face and body powder no powder now. This is just a powder, but I use it as a bronzer I have it in the shade 6n neutral and it's just beautiful This is like the higher end version of the LYS one because this one is also like a beautiful satin But this is the kind of bronzer for people that don't like a lot of powder or don't want to look powdery or don't want to feel or look cakey and want a little bit of glow um Again, this is definitely like a luxury item. It's not cheap, but if you do have the budget, I do think you're gonna love it. You can literally go in with as much product as you want. And when you put it on the face, it adds that color, but it doesn't add like product. Like it almost just adds like that pigment because it's a no powder powder. So you can literally build this up as much as you want and it'll just never look powdery. If you're just looking for a really beautiful high-end bronzer that gives a little bit of a sheen and doesn't look heavy, if you like really natural, um, you're gonna love this. My favorite thing to do is apply my bronzer with this stick so I can get that pigment and then I like to set it with this and that just gives me a beautiful glowy non powdery or cakey look and I love it so that was a lot of bronzer but it is summer it's summer I want to talk about I could not stop using these blushes these are the elf luminous putty blushes it's the brand new ones I do have a whole video applying them all on my cheeks swatching them for you guys on my arm I will leave it right here um, they're like six dollars and they're amazing my favorite shades are Barbados and um, what was the other shade I don't know where it is I couldn't find it for this video but I'll put it right here it's like the berry pink one these are so nice. I love to apply these actually at the end of my makeup because you guys know I don't really apply a lot of highlight anymore. And so when I am done with my powder blush, my bronzer blush, everything, it doesn't matter if I have powder, it doesn't matter. Um, I will grab this and I will put this on my cheeks as my last step. And not only will it add more blush, but it adds that glow and it stays all day. It's so beautiful. The shade range is really, really nice. They have a lot of really, really light shades and really deeper shades. And I put that on my nose, on my cheeks, sometimes even on my forehead. And it just adds that color, that flush and that glow. And it's so nice. Um, I didn't think that I would like these better than the matte ones, but I just wear this even more than the regular putty blushes. So if you have, a, if you guys haven't tried this, you need to like, you truly are missing out. Okay, and then the last products that I have for you guys are actually a um, two, three lip products. So first, let me talk about this. So this is the Charlotte Tilbury Lip Cheat. I usually don't buy high-end lip liners. I never understood why people do that, but now I get it. And now that I get it, I think I'm going to start trying out more high-end lip liners just because this Charlotte Tilbury lip liner stays on all day. And as you guys know, I like to overline my lips and this stays on all day. Like truly, when I wear this and my liquid vinyl from Maybelline, my lips don't go anywhere. I was swatching them all and my favorite's Love Trap, especially for my skin tone. This is what it looks like. I'm not wearing it right now because I'm wearing a different lip product that I'm going to show you guys, but this is the shade that I prefer. The way that I discover these, um, I just swatched them at a Sephora just for fun. And then I left Sephora and I had these lip liners on all day. I even took a shower and they were still there and I'm like, Wait a minute, why am I rubbing off lip liner? Usually it comes off by itself, right? Um, so I have to say, the $25 price tag, it's worth it in my opinion. You could always just save these for special occasions, but if you need a lip liner that won't go anywhere, this is really, really good. And the last thing I wanna show you guys, it's actually very random, but I saw 
um, Karen, I love Sarai, she did a video of a lip combo and I fell in love and so I bought it. Very, very random, but it's so good and it's not like super expensive. This is the Glam Light Frosted Flakes Lip Combo. And it is what I'm wearing today, but I kind of want to show you each product on its own. Let me show you guys the lip liner. So beautiful. It's like a beautiful like brown shade. I'm going to overline like always. But it's so creamy and so pigmented and the shade is just perfect. So that's the lip liner. I feel like this lip liner would just go with so many other um, lipsticks because it's like such a good medium tone brown shade. So that honestly looks good by itself, right? And then the lipstick is a matte lipstick. It is a little bit lighter, so you can create a little bit of like an ombre look. So I just put this in the middle. That's what it looks like. And then when you just blend it with the lip liner, it creates the most beautiful brownie pink look. And it's all matte, by the way. This is a matte lipstick. So something that I do like doing, um, that I started doing recently, I'll just take like a lipstick or like a darker blush and I'll put it in the middle like that. And I'll just add a little bit of like red in the middle. And it's, isn't that cute? It gives it like a little, like I just had a popsicle vibe. I don't know. Anyways, that's the lip combo. I think it's really beautiful. I think if you just like medium tone brownie pinks, you're going to love this. It's so good. I wish that this lip liner just was sold separate because, or it might be, I don't know, but this together, beautiful. Okay guys, so those were all my favorite products of the past two months. I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know if you guys have tried any of these products. I love hearing like y'all's experiences with products that I love. So let me know what you guys think and thank you guys for another amazing month here on YouTube. Happy August. Let's have a great month. I love you guys so much. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you guys next time. Bye.